thefootballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our Division II playoff wraparound. Now we're in the final four of the Division II playoffs, so let's get this video kicked off by taking a look at Lenore Ryan as they play host to Westchester. Excellent game here between Westchester and Lenore Ryan. And for the Rams in this ball game, you look at quarterback Sean McCartney getting into an early groove is going to be key in this matchup. Here's a team that can run the heck out of the football, has a great running back in Rondell White. You want to make his life easier and take some pressure off that ground game by getting the passing game going early. An assignment football versus the option attack is going to be key. Lenore Ryan can do a great job in chewing up the T.O.P. You have to do your job, not get out of position. Otherwise, they can gash you for big plays on the ground. And Westchester has to maximize their possessions because when you're facing an option team like Lenore Ryan, you have to come over with points on every drive because they shrink the ball game because of that running game that chews up the T.O.P. And for the Bears in this ball game, beating the guards to the spot in the running game on defense will be key. Westchester does a great job in moving their offensive linemen in the running game. They love to pull their guards, so your defensive lineman has to beat the guards to the spot, clog up their running game, and put Rondell White on the ground in the backfield. And on offense, I will look at dialing up a little bit more misdirection in the option game to try to generate big plays on the ground. I think Westchester would try to come into this ball game and get over aggressive front side, so maybe a little bit of misdirection could yield big time results for the Bears. And the biggest battle they're going to have to win defensively is up front with their nose guard Jimmy Long going against the center of Westchester, Derek Schatz. Westchester runs primarily out of the spread. You're going to see a lot of pistol, so getting interior pressure is going to be key, so that's why Long has to bring his A game this week versus the Rams. I like Lenore Ryan in this ball game. They're the type of team that gives Westchester problems. When you look at teams that can really run the football and lean on that running game, i.e. Bloomsburg, they struggle. And I think Lenore Ryan with that option attack just brings a different dimension. I think they'll knock off the Rams at home. Next up, we have another great battle between Grand Valley State and Northwest Missouri State. And for the Lakers in this ballgame, their wide receivers winning the individual matchup versus the Dixon duo. That's Brandon and also Brian, the outstanding cornerback combination for Northwest Missouri State. Those Laker wide receivers have to win that battle in order for the Lakers offense to have success. And they're going to have to take chances in the secondary. They have an outstanding defensive back in Deontay Hurst who does a great job in reading the eyes of opposing quarterbacks and anticipating routes and does a great job in getting his hands on the ball. If they can make some big plays defensively and come away with some turnovers, they can win this ball game. They also have to dictate the tempo of the game. I love the way the Lakers run the football. They can control the clock. They're going to have to dictate the pace whether it's up-tempo or slowing it down in order to have success. And for Northwest Missouri State, getting to the perimeter in a running game is going to be key. They do a great job in attacking the defense horizontally and getting the edge. But if they can't do that versus Grand Valley State, who has excellent perimeter defense, it's going to be a problem. And third down defense will be key. You have to do a better job of getting off the field and putting Grand Valley in backed up situations. If they can't do this, this Laker offense can put up points in a hurry. And I would also look for the Bearcats to work quarterback Brady Bowles in the game very early. He's their running threat. They utilize a two quarterback system to perfection. He's a guy that can do a lot of damage on the ground and working him in the game plan very early gives the Lakers defense that much more to worry about. I like Northwest Missouri State in this ball game. This is a well-balanced football team, great offense, very stout defense. I think they'll do a great job in slowing down the Lakers' offensive attack. And on offense, look for both quarterbacks to make plays in the passing game. I think that's going to be the key. They think Bowles is going to come in and just run. He may hit some big plays deep down the field, throwing the football off a of play action. So I think that right there will be the element of surprise that will kill the will of the Lakers. I like Northwest Missouri State to move on to the Division II championship game. And finally, we have a preview of the Live United Bowl between the Texas A&M Commerce Lions and the Bisons of Harding University. And for the Lions in this ballgame, playing clean and not sloppy will be the key. Penalties, they average 82 yards a game on the ground, and they also turn the football over at record pace. They have to protect the football, and they have to play clean in order to have success. And it's very important for this offense to stay ahead of the chains. They struggle on third down, so winning on first down and keeping it in second and medium and third and short goes a long way in helping Texas A&M Commerce win this ball game. And I would also go aggressive defensively. Harding is a team that is predominantly run, so you can get aggressive by keeping one safety deep back on the back end and also playing closer to the line of scrimmage with your corners and going more aggressive to try to stop the run to put that option offense or that predominantly run offense in backed up situations. 
And for Harding in his ball game, the offensive line excellence must continue. This is a football team that has only given up three sacks all season long. And yes, they run the football 80% of the time, but that is still an impressive stat. And in order to run the football as effective as the Bisons have done all season, you have to have great offensive line play, and that excellence has to continue this week versus Texas A&M Commerce. And the element of surprise is going to be key, maybe passing the football just a little bit more than what they're used to doing on offense, just to give that defense something else to worry about and keep them off balance. And they have to communicate effectively in the secondary. Texas A&M Commerce is a team that loves to spread the field, so your secondary has to be on point if you want to play winning defense. I like Harding in this ball game. When you're able to dominate on both sides of the line of scrimmage, you're going to win a lot of football games. And when you look at their offensive line, we talked about how well they do on both ends of offense, but I believe it's going to be their defensive line that wins this ball game, being able to apply pressure and slow down the spread attack of Texas A&M Commerce.